Hey there, St. Paul Lutheran Church and School families and whoever else happens to be watching. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are continuing our daily devotions going through the book of Philippians, a letter that Paul wrote while in prison. And our situation may not be prison, uh, but I think that Paul's letter to the Philippians uh, can teach us a lot about how we can still live as Christians even when circumstances change around us. So let's jump right into our reading for today. Choose somebody in your family to read out loud. Philippians chapter 2 verses 12 through 18. Did you hear that? Paul told us to work out. So I've got this 75 pound weight here. Working out, trying to build up my muscles here. It's like Paul tells us to do. I got to work hard in order to, to get strong. And Paul says, work out your salvation. So that must mean, well, that's, that's up to me. I've got to work hard hard in order to build up my faith, in order to, to get God to continue to love me and forgive me. Work out your salvation. Isn't that what Paul means? Yes, Jesus saved me on the cross. I'm baptized, but now the rest is up to me to work out my salvation and make sure I last to the end. Well, that's not actually what Paul is saying. He's not telling us that we have to work hard in order to earn our salvation. He says, rather, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Fear and trembling are related to the humility that we talked about yesterday. When I think of fear and trembling, I think of confessing my sins in the presence of a holy God. I think of Isaiah in chapter 6 when he saw a vision of God who is perfect and holy and almighty. And he fell down with, with fear and trembling and he said, Lord, uh, woe is me, I am a sinner. And to work out our salvation with fear and trembling means that we recognize that our sinfulness and Satan and the world will often try to lead us astray, away from the salvation that Jesus has won for us. And so we work out that salvation with fear and trembling by confessing our sins and by turning once again to God for forgiveness. Because Paul goes on in the very next verse to say, it is God who works in you. It's not up to you. God is the one at work, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. And that gets us to our word of the day for today's devotion, work. Whose work is it though? It is God's work in you. I want you to, to think of it this way. I brought this tool with me, and I want you to think of yourself as this tool. And right now, this tool doesn't work. Push the button, it doesn't work like it should. And that's all of us in our state of sin. We, we don't work. We can't earn salvation on our own. We need God. And through Jesus' death and resurrection, through our baptism and the gift of the Holy Spirit, we have been given salvation, forgiveness, and power. We are now tools in the hands of God. It is God who works in us so that now we can do what he has called us to do. We are tools in his hand that we can do all things, it says, without grumbling or questioning that we may be blameless and innocent children of God, among whom you shine as lights in the world. And what do you know? We've got a light here on this drill that reminds us that just as Jesus is the light of the world, he has come into us so that we can shine his light to those who need to see it, holding fast to the word of life, that is, holding fast to the faith that God has given us. <clears throat> uh, trusting in him who gives us salvation 
and eternal life and the power to obey and to work as God's tool on behalf of others in love and service and humility. Let's go to our questions for today. The first one is I want you to, to start by examining your own heart and mind. Come before God with fear and trembling and ask, what sins do I need to confess today? Go ahead and share that out loud. Confess your sins to each other. And I'm going to say this to you, and you can say it to each other as well. You are forgiven because of Jesus. The work has been completed by his death on the cross. You are a child of God, a tool in his hand, ready to be used by him. And that gets us to our second question for today. What work can God use you to accomplish today for others? You are a tool in his hands. What, what can you do for others in the name of Jesus today? Go ahead and take a minute to talk about that as well. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, please work in us to will and to do your good pleasure that we may be blameless in this crooked generation and blameless in the day of your return. Amen. Our hymn of the day is in your Lutheran service book number 707, Oh, that the Lord would guide my ways. This helps us remember that as we work out our salvation in fear and trembling, it is God who is working in us, who guides us and leads us to whatever it is that he wants us to accomplish. Number 707. Be sure to click the link below this video that will take you to Mr. Polish playing this song so that you can sing along together as a family. Until next time, God bless you and may he give you joy.